The Zach Halcott Show. On the Cobalt Radio Network. On air. Online. And in your pocket. Find out all the ways you can listen at ZachHalcox.com. All right, so here um, I'm going to play you uh, some audio that uh, it, it's a, it's by this guy, uh, Louis Farrakhan, who, by the way, was on the Word Network, which is the largest African-American um, religious-based Christian um, uh, network in the world. And they have this guy on here who makes terroristic threats toward white people hates white people, just hates them. And he says that we're going to have to take matters into our own hands because the government's full of racist white people that uh, they need to do something. They need to kill people. I'm looking for 10,000 in the midst of a million. Listen, listen. I'm looking for 10,000 in the midst of the million. Millions. of the million. 10,000 fearless men. Who say death is sweeter than continued life under tyranny. Death is sweeter than to continue to live and bury our children while white folks give the killer hamburgers. Death is sweeter than watching us slaughter each other. To the joy of a 400 year old and death, death is sweet. The Quran teaches persecution is worse than slaughter. Then it says retaliation is prescribed in matters of the slain. Retaliation is a prescription from God to calm the breath of those whose children have been slain. So if the federal government will not intercede in our affairs, then we must rise up and kill those who kill us. Stop them and kill them and let them feel the pain of death that we are feeling. Okay, so I hope you caught what he said. He said, white people are killing us. And so what we have to do is we have to retaliate by killing them because they're killing us. Which is wow now, I personally I don't understand how this person Louis Farrakhan is even still able to walk around this country why is this man not behind bars why isn't he dead <laughs> why isn't he behind bars he's making terroristic threats against white people all he needs is 10,000 out of a million. 10,000. To kill white people. Because apparently we're killing them. P- police officers uh, slay black people. And then apparently I didn't know I was giving them hamburgers. Which to him, to me it sounded like he was saying they kill black people and they make hamburgers out of them and the white people feed them to the police officers but here's the thing I think the reason why this guy isn't behind bars why he's not in prison is because if uh, if they did that they'd be like people would be like oh well you're a terrible person because you're persecuting him because of his religion 
because of his religion and his beliefs. But then Christians are like, I'm not going to make a, a wedding for, or I'm not going to make a cake for a gay wedding. I'm not going to, uh, uh, I'm not pro-choice. I'm pro-life. Life is, life is good. Life is precious. And then they're like, oh, well, you're a terrible person. You and your war on women. War on women. The thing is, in our country, we have this problem where progressives, they can take small, if anybody can do this, actually, you take small little things. What happened? Here's an example. What happened right when the Planned Parenthood videos came out? Cecil the Lion was killed. Planned Parenthood stuff was boom, everywhere. And then boom, nowhere. Cecil the Lion. Cecil the Lion. Who cares about a lion? When we have babies being ripped apart, people say, oh, well, uh, it's only like 8% of uh, uh, Planned Parenthood uh, does abortions. It's only 10%. It's only 5%. I've heard so many different numbers. I don't know who to believe anymore. I don't believe anybody anymore. These are the things that tear us apart as a nation. We have the Planned Parenthood videos like, oh, this is bad. We need to, you know, we need to fix this. And people were so against it. And then the, Obama says, I support Planned Parenthood. And people are like, oh, okay, well, if Obama supports it, if, if the government supports it, then we are okay with it. It's fine. It's all good. Which is exactly what they do. They talk just like that, yes. They just, they, they say... Well, if if the government says it's okay, then I believe it's okay because they're the government. And maybe, maybe they're right about something. They might be right about something. They just might be. And I'm sure they're right about some things. And I'm sure, you know, Planned Parenthood, to an extent, serves a certain purpose in women's health. However, they do abortions, and it's more than 5%, it's more than 8%, it's more than 10%. That's almost all they do. They, they'll bring you in, and they'll say, okay, you're going to have a session for um, counseling pre, pre-abortion, um, and then we're going to start the abor- abortion. And then we're going to um, have you come back in for um, the second part of the abortion. Then we're going to have you uh, go to some other counseling um, to make sure that you're okay. You know, forget about the baby. <laughs> forget about the baby. He's already dead. So we need to worry about you. Are you okay? Are you Are you okay? We're going to have counseling for you, and we're going to have, um, we're going to have a lot of things for you. But you leave with, like, ten different sessions. I'm going back to that place ten times. And, um, but it's all for the abortion. The abortion is what they do a lot of. And we see videos of Babies being cut up on pie pans. Oh, it's another boy. I want a Ferrari. I want another Ferrari. I only have ten, but I need another Ferrari. Are you serious? Mind I walk up to you, rip your limb off, and sell it on the black market? Because that's the same thing. You're a strange animal. But you're a strange animal.